Today's show is all about muscles. No, not these muscles, but these muscles. I am going to show you how to make drunken muscles super fast, five minutes. Come back right after this. Okay, never mind that. Let's get to the muscles. So here's what we're gonna need to make the drunken muscles. Obviously, I have one pound here of uh, fresh muscles that uh, I harvested myself, and they're clean, the beard. And look, you see how this one is open? Just a little bit, can you see that? If you buy your muscles or if you harvest them yourself and they're open like that, don't discard them. Give them a try first. Tap on them and see if they close. See how that closed on its own? That means that muscle is still alive. Look at that, it closed. See that? It means it's still alive. If this muscle was to not close after me tapping on it, then this muscle you want to get rid of. You don't want to eat it because it's dead. So what are we going to need for, for this recipe? It's fairly simple. I'm going to use, uh, I have uh, half of an onion. I'm not going to use it all, but I have half of a uh, finely chopped onion. I got two tablespoons of butter that I'm going to put at the very end. Only at the very end, not at the beginning. I have some homemade uh, pepper mash, Portuguese pepper mash. Right here, homemade, fermented. This stuff is unbelievable. And you're also going to need, I like to use some fresh parsley. Also homegrown, fresh parsley. And two glasses of white wine. I know this one is not white, it's a little on the pink side, but it is white Ziffindale. That's what happens to be in my refrigerator. But white wine, and it needs to be a good white wine. How do you tell it's good white wine? I'll show you. Now that is good white wine, so you should cook with it. No, I'm not going to drink this one. No, I still have some cooking to do. So let's get onto the stove and let's put all this together. This is going to take literally five minutes. Now, because this recipe goes by so fast, it's very important that you have everything chopped up, everything prepared, ready to go. Do not start cooking this recipe without having everything ready to go because trust me you will overcook these muscles in a heartbeat yeah you see that in a heartbeat all right let's get onto the stove and ne never mind me flaunting my muscles around it the camera makes them look bigger than they are okay so we're at the stove so we're gonna start i already have the heat on the pan's pretty hot you want the pan pretty hot, just a little bit of some good olive oil, not much, just a little bit. Get that olive oil going in there. And then just a little bit of onion. You hear that? Just a little bit of onion. I'm not going to use it all. Gotta caramelize the onion. There we go. Let 
You should always start with your onion first because the onions take, you don't want to really be biting into raw onions. So always start with your onions first, saute them a little bit. So this way they're caramelized. So always start with your onions first. I mean the smell is unbelievable. Now I'm only doing one pound of uh, of mussels. If you would, you know, this is just for one person. If you were to do for two people, usually I would recommend would be about one pound per person. Since it's just for me, I'm doing just one pound. So that's to me that's about enough onion. Okay, once we get, okay, see how the onions are starting to get a little caramelized there? Now we put our mussels in. Of course the thing started beeping, why not? Now we put our wine in. Look, the muscles are starting to open up already. Can you see that? They're starting to open up. Can you see that? Look. They're opening up already. Now we put the garlic in. Now I got the garlic. Throw the garlic in. They're going to be so drunk and happy. The smell is unbelievable. Now this is happening live guys, I'm doing this live, this is happening right now and it's going to take like five minutes, literally. Look, 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 look at that. Okay, at this point I'm going to throw in a little bit of pepper because I like a little bit of heat. Just a little bit of Portuguese pepper. That is amazing. We put that in. You see that? At this point, you shut the heat off because the muscles have already opened up. You shut the heat off and now you add your butter. There we go, that's it. This smells absolutely amazing. And now you add your parsley. You know, I could have picked a bigger pan, but See, the reason why 
Can you see that velvety juice down there? You see all that juice, how velvety the butter made it and it changed the color? The reason why you add the butter at the end is the butter makes it velvety where it, it kind of thickens up the sauce a little bit because the, at this point, the wine already burned out of it. And the butter at the very, very end with the heat off because the butter melts inside of the broth because the broth is very hot. And that is pretty much it. So let's plate this up. And let's have it a try. I know it's going to taste good, but I want to try it on camera so you guys can see that I like it. Okay. So here we go. We're going to plate this up. The smell is unbelievable. It smells amazing. I mean, this juice, everything is fantastic. We'll just put it anyway. Just like that. I mean, to be honest with you, I would eat it right out of here. I wouldn't even get a plate dirty. But since I'm doing this on video, I'm going to try to be a little bit neat. And look at all that juice right there. That is that is awesome juice right there. You do not let this go to waste. Now the other thing that's great about this broth with the wine is if you wanted to do some kind of pasta instead of just having this as an appetizer, if you want to do some kind of pasta, you would cook your pasta al dente and then you would finish your pasta inside of the broth right here where your pasta would soak up most of the sauce do not throw this away this is very drinkable it is wine uh, if you were to throw this away it would be a sin that's called alcohol abuse and you do not abuse alcohol okay so now that I got plated it up, let's go give it a taste test and see how I made out. Okay, so there's our drunken mussels. Now all we have to do is give it a taste test. I mean, from the smell of it, it's absolutely wonderful. Let's give it a taste test. Look at look at that your muscle mm. <laughs> that is amazing and then you take that broth Look, and you can use your shell, take that broth. Oh. That is, that is awesome. I tell you what, guys. If you make this for your wife or your girlfriend, I can almost guarantee you are going to be rehearsing on how to make babies tonight so there you go guys drunken muscles easy simple five minutes I know the video is going a little bit longer than that but that's how I make them so you guys thank you for stopping by give the video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed to the channel and if you want to share this video you have my permission. Share it to whoever you want. That's fantastic.
That's fantastic. And you are all fantastic. Till next time, you guys stay safe. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up.